I see you have a lot of questions. Thick book. Do <clears throat> you have some questions? Yeah, then go ahead and ask. She can translate also. So why do we have uh, Kileza? Because uh, as we are... Uh, Alex, can you please help? <laughs> <You're> sorry. <laughs> I just want to hear. Uh, she wanted to know why do we have Kileza and why do we go from life to life and why are we not pure uh, and how did it start? That was our question. Uh, mm. Why do we have Kileza? Why, why are we not pure and how did, it, did everything start since the mm. Chita goes from one life to life? How did it start? <laughs> Very interesting question. How did it start? Yeah. Why did you play the first video game? The same question. How did it start? <clears throat> it's not a question you should ask. Yeah. The question you should ask is how to get out of it. Yeah. I, I always bring, bring the example, you know, somebody is uh, swimming in a shithole, yeah? And what he does is, you know, sometimes he comes up and then can breathe and then he goes down, you know, and, and, and eats the shit and then he comes up again, you know. And then when he comes up, you know, see, he sees somebody far walking, you know, on fixed ground, yeah? And then the first question he asks him is, how did I fall into the shithole? <laughs> it really doesn't matter how you fall in, how you fell in. It's important how to get out. <clears throat> how do we get in? Maybe because of interest, but it, it's really a speculation. Yeah? And it's not really important how to get out. Yeah? Why life after life? Yeah? <clears throat> Think about, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that you know people, yeah? who can't stop playing video games. Yeah? How did they stop? Yeah? Was there, got interested, got into, played the first game, yeah? and the next day they played another game. Yeah? Then uh, once this game is over, then in the evening they played another game, and so it starts, you know, continuous stop. Yeah? They can't stop it. <coughs> Why? Because of attachment. <clears throat> and the attachment is our kilesa. <clears throat> if you go into this world, yeah, just like you go in a video game, the rules are made by the game. So if you want to play the game, you have to follow the rules. Yeah? In the beginning, you might be aware of the rules, but later on, you're not aware. You're just so in, so you're just so in the game that you don't know. Yeah. And that's, we have lost ourselves in the game, yeah, in the video game called life. Yeah. And in this video game, you know, I mean, the Kilesas rule this video game. They are the masters of this game. Yeah. And because you have sub submitted yourself to them because you wanted to play, yeah, just like a game player, you know, submits to the game. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter if he plays video or if he plays chess, yeah, or if he plays, uh, plays for money, roulette, yeah? He has to submit to the rules of the game. Yeah? And that's what we did, yeah? Consciously, unconsciously, I don't know, but, yeah? And there are the masters, yeah? And now, <clears throat> over the time, they have be become so smart, 
Yeah? That they rule us completely and they make us believe that we are them. Yeah? And that is the biggest problem. And because of that, yeah, just like people, you know, who get addicted to games, yeah, play one game after the other, yeah, some of them even die in front of their computer, yeah, because they forget to feed themselves, yeah? or they die, they freeze to death because they forgot to put on the heating, yeah. They're so, so submerged into these games, yeah, and we are so submerged into life, yeah. And that's why, that's a problem. Yeah. Understood? Yeah. Now we have to get out. And that's all difficult. <laughs> huh? You have another question. No, no, because yeah, I was thinking like, who created this, this whole game? Like, why so much Dukkha and why like, not a, a world with more Sukha than Dukkha? So yes, is there is. There is a world with lots <laughs> more sukha. Like, uh, uh -huh. sure yeah. I mean, if you, huh? <laughs> I mean, if you create a game, yeah, there is a there is a loser and there is a winner always. I mean, you play Monopoly, yeah. Some people are winning and other people, you know, have a lots of dukkha and the one who is winning has a lot of sukha, yeah. I mean, that that is the way the games are, yeah. But if you want to have a life with a lot of sukha, I mean, you just go to the heavenly world, yeah. But now you're at the, you know, now you're at the human world, and the human world can only offer you 50% of sukha and 50% of dukkha. But most of us have 5% of sukha and 95% uh, of dukkha, yeah. And we are, we are pretty much comfortable with that, yeah. Just think about, you know, a very nice encounter during the, the day, yeah? Just, just an hour of a very nice encounter, the whole day, you know, sweeps off, yeah? I mean, you are walking on clouds, yeah? Because you always remember this. I mean, that is the game. I don't know who created this game, and I don't, I really don't care, yeah? All I want to get, all I want to do is, you know, to get home, to where I belong, yeah? I mean, it's just like a person, you know, who left home, you know, and, and, and lost its way, yeah, <clears throat> into a world or into a game that, that he thinks he can manage, but then later on he loses. Yeah? I mean, when people play, you know, play roulette or play, you know, play in the casinos, they think they can master it, yeah. But then, after a while, they get more and more addicted and they can't rule it anymore. They are part of the game. Yeah. And that's how we lost ourselves. We became part of this game. Yeah. <clears throat> okay? Yeah, but when you play Monopoly, for example, you have the all players yeah. in the beginning have the rules. Yes. So and that was in the escape. beginning. But here like I I have the I have the feeling that some just few people have the the rules to escape this game. But not most of them. I mean, everybody would have, yeah? I mean, how many people choose to come to a monastery like this? It's their, it's their decision to make. Yeah. I mean, it's the same in life, yeah? How many people choose money over quality of life? They know, ah, oh, I can earn there 500 more euros, yeah? But they have to work harder, yeah? So they choose that, because they choose money over life. Isn't it? That's you, you, you are the one who chooses, yeah? When, when I got to work, you know, I said, I don't care, I just want to have a nice in my environment, even if I earn much less, yeah? That, that's my choosing, or that's my choice, yeah? Other people don't choose this. Yeah? They think money makes them happy. Yeah? yeah, that's what they believe in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and you can't change that. Yeah, <clears throat> and most people, you know, just don't care. You know, they just work. Yeah, they're just like a 
program, yeah? ticking around. Yeah? They don't even think about what they are doing, why they are doing, and, and why they are here. Yeah? If you ask them what is the purpose of life, you know, they, they don't, don't bother me with this kind of questions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. And it is up to you, if you understand the game, yeah? It's up to you. You can choose, you know, to go into, into places, you know, where there's a lot of sukkah, yeah? But sooner or later, you know, because nothing is permanent, yeah? You have to leave that place, yeah? I mean, it's just like holidays, yeah? I mean, you can work very hard and make very long holidays, yeah? But sooner or later, your money is gone. You have to return back, you know, and earn some money, you know, and that is how, yeah? <clears throat> or the human life. Hmm? Then you earn some money again, you know, and then you go back. Yeah? It has its fixed rules, and it's us who created these rules and who are constantly refining these rules, yeah? It's all of us. It's not only you, yeah? It's all of us, yeah? I mean, look at the body, yeah? for instance. It is, in this state, you know, in this day and age, you know, it is really refined. I mean, when, when, when you read about uh, how the first bodies were, they're made out of earth, yeah? Just earth and water together, you know? And what did they eat, you know, to replenish, you know, the energy? Earth. And now look at our cuisine. <laughs> Over the time, over, over years, over centuries, we refine. Yeah? And we refine the body, we refine the, the capabilities of this body, and we refine also the food that we take. In, yeah? It's us who decide. Yeah? I mean, the cheetah created all these things, you know, and then it falls for its own creation. Yeah? You never heard that? I mean, an artist, yeah? makes a painting and falls for his own creation. A filmmaker makes a, a wonderful movie and falls for his own creation. He lives within this creation. Never heard that? <laughs> so is it with us. We created it and we constantly refine it. But we fall also for our creation. We think, oh, that is amazing. Who did that? We did it. There wasn't a God, you know, who created us. It's us who created us. And it's us, yeah, who define the rules. Just like in society, we define the rules, yeah? I mean, we want to live together. So, I mean, we, we, we say, you know, nobody can harm any other person, you know, otherwise, you know, we, we put him away. Hmm? Nobody take, can take things from other people, yeah? Or we put him away. We created this, isn't it? <laughs> Some of us don't agree with it, you know, I mean, yes, that is, that's clearly, but... <laughs> <laughs> then the only thing is you can get out, yeah? That's what the Lord Buddha saw, yeah? I mean, he didn't want... I mean, it's impossible, yeah? Because it has to be the majority of people who, who go a different path, yeah? And we see that all over the world in little things it happens. You know, if the family, you know, I mean, if your parents decide, you know, to become vegetarian, you know, I mean, that's what you have to eat, yeah? And you will probably follow suit or, or revolt against it, yeah? And then the community, you know, the city, and then the, you know, and then the state, you know, they all create rules, yeah? So don't complain about it, you know, I mean, if you don't like it, get out. And that is something that you can do. But as you see, it's not easy. Yeah. I never said it's easy. Yeah. Get the hell out of here, you know, I mean, it's not easy. Yeah. If you want to overcome hell, you have to swim through the fires of hell. You have to understand what you want to overcome. So you have to go through pain. What is pain? Yeah. You have to understand what is pain, then you can let it go. Yeah? You have to understand what is hell, then you can let it go. Yeah? And then it doesn't come again. Yeah? You have to 
and you even have to understand what is heaven, yeah, before you can let it go. Yeah? I mean, we created these things. Now we have to understand this creation, yeah. You know, then and see, it's not us. It's not me. It's not mine. You know, it's constantly changes, yeah. And we don't understand the mechanism that is behind these changes, and that's what makes us mad. Yeah? But all what we need to do is look and observe. That's how we understand the mechanism. As I told you last last time, you know, the more you put your attention within the body, I mean, you see, yeah? what comes before a thought, it becomes an intention. What comes before the intention, yeah? might be dukkha. Yeah. Look at it. Or it might be a sense input. Yeah. You hear something, you know, and then a thought comes, yeah, and and then a feeling comes, and then another thought comes, yeah. And then the feeling, you know, that comes with the thought increases the feeling, and that's how how emotion is built. Yeah? Anger is not, you know, it's not a primary feeling. Yeah? Dukkha is a primary feeling. Satisfactory is or sukkha is a primary feeling or neutral. Yeah? I mean, anger is boiled up. Yeah? Within within the blink of an eye, we have three thousand mind moments. Yeah, it's fast. Yeah, and you know, you sometimes you open your eyes and instantly you know some anger comes up. You see something that you don't like. Yeah? No, it's not instantly. Over three thousand moments, it has been created. The first thought, yeah, with the thought comes a feeling, then a feeling, yeah. This adds up to the feeling, then a, then a memory that adds up to the feeling, yeah, and then it slowly becomes bigger and bigger and bigger, yeah. And we think it. Comes there? Is it there automatically? No. That's what we can watch, yeah? And then, if we can observe it at any moment, we can cut it. We say, Buddha, and then it's gone. Poops. Yeah? It's just like a, yeah, I mean, you, you know these uh, soap puppets, yeah? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. You try to catch it, it's gone. You try to catch it, it's gone. It's the same thing with feeling. You try to catch it, it's gone. Isn't that delusion? <laughs> but we create this delusion, you know. Everywhere we go, we create this delusion. Yeah? I mean, look at the children. Next time when you're in France, look at the children. I don't know if they still play it, you know, the soap puppets. Yeah, how they run after them. They just made them. <laughs> and then they fall for their own creation. Yeah? Huh? And we do that all the time. The same with video games, or the same with movies. We fall for our own creations. Yeah, we are so amazed, you know, about this, how wonderful it is, you know, and we fall for it. Yeah? Get out of it. That's the only. That's the option that you have. Or yeah, from now on, you just make so good karma, you know, that you go up to heaven. Yeah, and then you can rest there for a hundred thousand years, and then you have to come back. Yeah. Or maybe can rest only for 50,000 years. It depends on how much merit you make. Yeah? Even the highest gods have to come back. When was it? About 20 years, yeah? I mean, Saka, you know, I, he was the god of the 16 gods. <clears throat> he had to return back to earth. He was born here in Udon. It's a very special person. Yeah? Lumdag, you know, always took him by his hand. Yeah? He was the only person he took him by his hand. Yeah? <clears throat> so, everybody comes back, you know. And uh, then we have the choice here as a human being, you know, to do a lot of evil that sends us to hell, or to do a lot of good, you know, that sends us back up to heaven. So if you want to have less dukkha, go to heaven. Yeah? But you know, I mean, even for a nice holiday, you have to work hard. Yeah? <laughs> That's why I call it, you know, heaven is holiday, you know, and, and the human realm, you know, is, is, is the time where we work for the good and for the bad. Yeah. <clears throat> Now, we do have to accept 
we do have to accept it. I mean, there's, we don't have any other choice. Yeah? Just like when we are born in a country, we have to accept the laws of the country. Yeah? If you're born in Saudi Arabia, I mean, you have to dress like that, you have to behave like that. If you, if you start to steal, you know, they, they cut off one of your hands, you know, you steal another time, the other hand, yeah, and so on. Yeah? I mean, different laws, yeah. <clears throat> And actually, it's very similar to hell, yeah? I mean, if you steal, they cut off your hands and feet, yeah? When you read the description. It's not nice to read the description of hell. You, you definitely don't want to go there. And the Lord Buddha was so often asked about, you know, to describe hell. And he said, no, I don't want to describe hell, yeah? It's a terrible place to be, yeah? But then, you know, within two suttas, yeah, I mean, he, there are many suttas, within two suttas he described it. Yeah. And it sounded very much, you know, like, you know, some, some laws, you know, of the states yeah, that they had yeah, on earth at that time. A thief, you know, cut off his hand, yeah. <clears throat> So if you know, yeah, we don't want to live here, huh? or we don't want to go to heaven. Yeah? I mean, you've been to heaven. That's probably why you don't like it down here. <laughs> That's why you think it's so much dukkha. I mean, think about the people who love this human birth, you know. They just come from hell, you know, and they think, oh, that's a lot of freedom. <laughs> Compared to hell, you know, I mean, this is this is the place to be, yeah? It always depends where you come from, yeah? If you come from the ghetto and come into the middle class family with lots of things, yeah? I mean, you think you're in heaven, yeah? But the middle class family, of course, doesn't think that it is in heaven, you know? It sees all the dukkha, yeah? And then they come to a rich family, you know, think, oh, that's heaven, yeah? But then people who are born in the rich family, you know, see all the dukkha there, yeah? yeah? Understood? Yeah. The, the problem is not, not that we, we do understand it, but we don't like to understand it. <laughs> we don't like to accept it, yeah? That's, that is the biggest problem, yeah? I mean, take the world as it is, you know, when there's rain is coming, there's rain is coming, you know, I mean, the only thing is, you know, you can prepare yourself, build a kuti or build a house, you know, to protect yourself from the rain. But if you're in the middle of the forest, I mean, you can hope that, that it's a thick forest and the rain doesn't hit so hard, yeah? And when the sun is coming and it's too hot, then, you, then you're hopefully not in the desert without shade, yeah? That, that, is, that is the life that we chose, yeah? We are not aware of our choosing, but uh, I mean the choosing was for us, you know, for, for, for you people, it is more or less that we had a choice, yeah? When we are spiritual people, I mean we have much more choice than other people. Yeah? We can choose to go left, we can choose to go right, we can choose to go straight forward, yeah? Like you do, can do now, yeah? You can choose to meditate, you can choose to read something, you can choose not to meditate, you can choose to leave, yeah? A person, a normal person in the world, he doesn't have any choice. He, he's born in Africa, I mean, all what he needs, you know, is food, you know? So he works very hard for his food. He doesn't have a choice, you know, to think about, do I leave this place or do I don't leave this place? I mean, he needs something to eat, yeah? These people have no choices, yeah? We are born in a very, very good area or time. Yeah? And because of our good karma, yeah? that's why we have lots of choices. Yeah? You, you can stay you know, away from, yeah, from work you know, for a year or for two years. Yeah? I mean, ask people you know, in America, in, in the middle class that doesn't exist anymore, they don't have a choice, they have to have three jobs. To be able to live, you know, to, to be able to afford their house or, or their car, yeah? 
And nowadays, even in Germany and probably also in France or in Spain, people have to have two jobs in order to be able to survive. Wow. Well, 30 years ago, it was a better. So, you had some good karma and you also have some bad karma. Yeah? It reflects in the times there. But still, you know, I mean, still you can say goodbye, you know. Western countries still have, you know, some, <coughs> some social standing, you know, even if you don't earn something, you know, you get something. Yeah? Other countries don't have that. So, that, that is good karma. No? So, don't waste the good karma, you know, just fooling around, you know. Use the good karma, you know, to get out, yeah, or make it better. Yeah? Change the things that, you know, that, that are not good. Yeah? That's why I tell you, you know, do reflection and see what is not good, what is not wholesome, and, and get rid of it. So, for you, you have, at the moment, you have two main choices. Yeah? Do I go back to the world that I was trying to escape from? Or do I try, you know, to practice a little bit, to get a little bit ahead of time, to get a little bit in the direction of getting out? And then you see the kilesas, how they fool us. Oh, this wasn't that bad, you know, I mean, if I had this, you know, if I had that, you know, I mean... If I had this or that, we had it all. Whatever they promised, you had it already. Isn't it? <laughs> and it was, so, it was so nice that you came here to overcome Dukkha. <laughs> In the end, yeah? That's... Yeah. I mean, they promised us, you know, the things that we already had, and we know that it didn't make us happy. Yeah? Now, I mean, it's so difficult, you know, I mean, maybe, you know, maybe I, I do this, you know, maybe it is better to travel, you know, to China, I've never seen China, yeah? Or things like that, yeah? I mean, you've been all over the place, yeah? And you know, I mean, wherever you go, I mean, it's the same thing, yeah? doesn't really matter if it is China or it's America. Huh? Of course, China has a lot of nice landscapes, yeah? America also, yeah? National parks in America are amazing, yeah? But also in the middle of Spain, you know, there are some, some very nice area, yeah? Or Portugal, yeah? Or France, yeah? You have national parks in France, we have some national parks in Germany, I mean, wherever we are. Yeah? Nice, nice countries. You either go to the mountain or to the sea, you know. You, you even have the choice, you know, go to the North Sea or to go to the Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> we don't have the choice. <laughs> we, we only have the choice now to, to go to the Baltic Sea or to the North Sea. <laughs> Or to the mountains, yeah. Yeah, don't get fooled by the skilesas. I mean, they are, they, are, they are very clever, yeah. And the problem is they know us better than we know ourselves, yeah. I mean, they, they, then they bring out things, you know, from 30 years ago, you know, and try to fool us with that, yeah. Or from 10 years ago. Yeah? I mean, we long forgotten it, and then, then they come up, yeah. <clears throat> And the kilesas is also something that, yeah, we educate. Yeah? The more greedy we are, the more greedy the kilesas are, yeah? To become, yeah? The more we study, the cleverer the kilesas become. Yeah? The more we know, the more the kilesas know. Yeah? So, I, I mean, it is, they, they live there, you know, they notice everything what we are doing, yeah? So, yeah? They become clever, yeah? 
and they have, then they find the way out and that is what is hindering us in the progress of meditation oh it's so hard it's so difficult yeah I mean then ask yourself I mean why did I come here in the first place huh? was so difficult the dukkha in the life was so difficult yeah and you just remember that you know your last year at work that was so much fun yeah <laughs> no it wasn't huh? and that's why you quit yeah we just have to yeah I mean we have to use our memories then sometimes in order to reflect about why, why, why did we come here in the first place yeah I mean we had all these things yeah I mean we had money so we could travel we had we had a, an apartment where we could sleep you know some people had a nice apartment other people didn't had such a nice apartment I mean we had food to eat you know some people have put better food to eat or more tastier food to eat and others not so but When you trust, when you trust the Lord Buddha, you know, who saw all these things, who saw the worlds, you know, who saw the earth and the, and the planet we lived on before and the planet we lived on before, yeah? And then he said, he wanted to, to get out of this cycle. He said, no, I don't want to, yeah? <clears throat> then, then think about it. When you trust him a little bit, then think about it. I mean... What, what is worthwhile in your life, yeah? You want to get out or you want to stay in? If you want to stay in, make it good, yeah? And even that the Lord Buddha told us about, yeah? If you want to become beautiful, what do you have to do? Serve others. Mm. Yeah? If you want to become rich, what do you do? Be generous. Just the opposite. <laughs> we can't buy beauty. Yeah? We can only do things. Yeah? If you want to go to heaven, there's a way. Yeah? Keep the five precepts. Respect, gratitude yeah? and generosity. And then you can go up to heaven. Yeah? <clears throat> Otherwise you just can't be, come to, yeah, to the human life. He all he, he put out the plan, yeah? yeah. Ugliness comes from a lot of hate. Yeah? Next time you see a really ugly person and you talk to him, then you see there's a lot of still there's a lot of hate in these people. Yeah? And not it's not because of the ugliness outside, it's because of what made them ugly. But some of them can change, yeah? They will see, you know, I mean, that's not the way to, to, to be, and then change, yeah? <clears throat> It's the same thing for beautiful people, you know, they change, you know, they become hollow and vain, yeah? And then the next life, their beauty is gone. Yeah? Our body changes according to what we do, yeah? It is karma. The body is not created by our parents, you know, it's created by karma. Yeah? All the genetic faults or yeah, the positive genes or negative genes in your body, be it any kind of sickness or be it, you know, the, the form of the body, yeah, is created by karma. Yeah? Whatever we do unto others, yeah? if you serve others, you know, that's why, why just remember these few things. Yeah? If you serve others, you know, without thinking about yourself, I mean, you will become beautiful in your next life. Yeah? If you become very generous, I mean, you become very rich. Yeah? And there are rich people, you know, and you always think, you know, I mean, some of the rich people, you know, don't deserve the wealth. Yeah? They wouldn't be rich if they wouldn't have been generous in previous life, yeah? except if they steal it together. Yeah? <clears throat> and then, look at them, they can't have enough. They want more. And that's where they start stealing, you know, and that's where they, they become very poor in their next life. Yeah? What goes up must go down. Yeah? We know that. Throw anything into the air, it comes down again. 
<laughs> it doesn't vanish into the yeah, into sin. Yeah. It's just like with us. Yeah? I mean, the body might die, you know, but the chitta who who sits in the body, you know, I mean, doesn't die. It never dies. Yeah? Lunda Mahaprabhu calls it the everlasting tourist. Yeah, just hops from one body to the next. Yeah, just like you. Yeah, I mean, this this. This year, or these two years, you like this car, and then then you don't like it anymore. You want to have a new car, then you hop into the next car, and then in the next car, and maybe then you want to have an airplane, yeah, and then yeah, these things, yeah. But it's in our hands that we can change things, yeah. If we understand, yeah, and that's why the Lord Buddha, you know, ways. He didn't waste so much time, but he, he lived so many lives, I mean, eons of life, you know, to develop him, to become a Buddha. Just to teach us. Huh? Don't we feel any gratitude for his teaching? Yeah? No, in the West, now we criticize him. Yeah? That he didn't do right. Yeah? Who are we? Yeah? The Buddha is the most perfect per- being, yeah? And we just study at the university, read his text, and then say, you know, that's not good, that's not good, that I don't like, that I don't like, yeah? No. <clears throat> he developed, you know, eons. How many eons? It's what I think 180 eons. He has to develop the ten, ten perfection, the perfection of generosity, the perfection of humility, the perfection. And each of these perfection takes hundreds or thousands of lives and then he become, can become a Buddha just for us to teach us the way out yeah? and before him other people did it, yeah? and after after him other people and the next Buddha is already waiting in the heaven yeah? for his time to come yeah? hundred thousand years about 100,000 years, 70, 100,000 years, or 150. <clears throat> and then he comes down on the earth, you know, and then teaches the same thing, because, I mean, we tend to forget, yeah? So his teaching is forgotten. Once the teaching is forgotten, I mean, then, then the next Buddha comes. And they prepared themselves. I mean, it, it's amazing, yeah? I mean, when Lumpur Man, Lumpur Man was also on the path to Buddhahood, yeah? I mean, he had half of the, half of the lives behind him. And he saw, I still have 90 eons, one eon is one uncountable time, to go to become a full Buddha. He said, no, that's too much, look. <laughs> I stop now. Yeah? And then he stopped now. He could still stop, yeah? If you go over 50%, you can't stop anymore. Then you have to go the whole path. Once, once, I mean, the Buddhas normally, you know, people who decide to become a Buddha, each Buddha, they will meet each Buddha and, you know, they, they make their vow again, yeah? And once the Buddha says, you will become the Buddha with this name or that name, in that and that life, yeah? Then it's fixed and you can't retreat anymore. But unless, if he has not, if nobody has told you, if no Buddha has told you that, then you still can go back. And Lumpu Man and Lumpu Sao as well. Yeah? Both of them were half of the half Buddhas. Yeah? <clears throat> it takes enormous time. Yeah? And for us, you know, even for an Arahant, it takes a long time. Yeah? Training, training, training. We don't like it, we do it. We don't like it, we do it. Yeah? One life we do it, in the next life we yeah, we go back, you know, into <clears throat> into the choice of the world or what we think are the choice of the world, and then we say, ah, that wasn't the right thing, you know, and then we go back, you know, one life of meditation, one life of practice, yeah, or half a life of meditation, half a life of practice. Yeah? And that we do for for endless time, you know, until we, we finally come up here. Yeah? So, it is, it is up to you. Yeah? I mean, when you look at that peacock, yeah? when, when he looks at a shiny car, where he sees his own reflection, he starts a fight. 
Very interesting. Makes a mesh in this the shadow makes also the mirror also makes this gesture. So and he really attacks the car. It's amazing, yeah. And I see this, you know, and I see the people, you know, doing the same thing. Somebody makes an angry movement, you react, making an angry movement, and then you start to fight, yeah. Thinking that he's the problem. Yeah? Just like the peacock thinks that, you know, I mean the car is the problem, but the car doesn't move, yeah. Put him in front of a mirror and look, yeah. <laughs> Black car he doesn't see his shadow so much, but in a white car, I mean it is reflected very clearly. I so often watch it. Yeah? And it always comes to mind, you know, the same way we act, you know. We see something, you know, and we instantly react, yeah. We don't see that we see the projection of our own heart, you know, reflected in something else. Whatever you see is a reflection, yeah. You always see a slide projector. You've seen, yeah. You put a slide in and you project it onto a wall, yeah. No matter what is on the wall, you can't see clearly because of your own projections that are projected. Yeah? So if you see a human being, all what you see is your inner self. Yeah? Only if the slide is completely clean and pure, so once we get rid of all the kilesas, then it's clear and pure. Then you see the person as it is. Or then you see the objects as they are. But the slide is full, yeah? full of colors. Yeah? Some red color of anger, some green color of envy, and so on, and so on. And that's what we see. And that's why, you know, when I look at these peacocks fighting the car, you know, I mean, that's what I also see. Fighting our own shadows. Yeah? Fighting our own projections. Yeah? Because that's nothing different. Yeah? But we think it's another person. Yeah? And that's a problem. That's one of the biggest problems that we have in this world. Yeah? We constantly fight ourselves, yeah? not knowing that we fight ourselves. The moment we look in our heart, we see. It's all there. All the projections are there. Yeah? And if you're in a good relationship, you see it. All the, you could see it if you want to. See it all the time. <laughs> if you want to. Yeah? <clears throat> but of course it is much easier to tell the other person to shut up, you know, than to shut up oneself. Yeah? To change. Yeah, change. Just change. You know, I don't like the way you behave. Yeah? Really, I don't like it. You know, you have to change. Yeah? Because I tell you. Yeah? If the other person tells us, you know, we, we get really angry. <laughs> yeah? And we know if we really do it then, we know how hard it is. And how easy it is to say, yeah? well, go ahead, change yourself. Yeah? No, it's not easy. And you notice when you practice that it's not easy. Yeah? Very difficult to change oneself. You can't change others. Yeah? It's impossible. It's their own decision to change that. Yeah? So either be happy you know, with the other person, and, and see your own faults instead of the fault of the other person, and then you have a <clears throat> happy relationship, or yeah, you have a very unhappy and constantly frustrating relationship. Yeah? See, it's only projections of your own thing. Yeah? And especially, you know, I mean, I, I remember, I mean, I, I had relationships before. Yeah? I remember it. Yeah? <clears throat> My girlfriend never said, you know, what she wanted, you know, and, and I had to guess what she wanted, yeah? And if I didn't guess right, you know, I mean, she was angry. You don't love me because you don't do this, yeah? Uh, there's something wrong with that, yeah? And then if you asked, if I asked her, what, what, what do you want, yeah? I don't know. So how can I make you happy if you do, if you yourself don't know what you want, yeah? If you don't, if you, yourself, don't know what makes you happy, how can I know what makes you happy? I don't even know what makes me happy. Yeah? <laughs> huh? But we constantly expect that from our partner, isn't it? Huh? So we should get 
rid of these kind of expectations and, and then maybe our partnership will become more happy. Yeah? <clears throat> we do it, you know, I mean, yeah? and some, sometimes we don't know why we're doing things. Yeah? We just do it. We just go ahead. We feel like it. Yeah? We say, we, I feel like it. Yeah? Why do we feel like it? Yeah? What is going on in the heart? Yeah? That is the first thing. Before you do anything, you know, sit down, make make one minute puto 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 puto, get a clear shot of your heart, you know what is going on in there, and then go ahead and do it. And then after you did it, evaluate. See, if the dukkha that that made you do things is gone. Was it really a help or was it just a distraction? We would see. If you do this, you know, or at least I, I saw it, you know, most of the things that I did was completely irrelevant. Yeah? You didn't get rid of the right problem. It's just like you, you try to use soap, you know, on, on, on stains from, 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 from wine. Yeah? It doesn't help it, doesn't get it out. Yeah? Yeah? The stain is still there, oh, but you're, oh, yeah, yeah, hard. Yeah? Rubbing, rubbing, rubbing very hard. Yeah? Or sometimes I say, I mean, you see something, you look in the mirror and, and you see a black spot and then you wipe the mirror, wipe the mirror. You know, the black spot doesn't disappear because it is on your face. <laughs> but we work so hard, yeah? <laughs> that is also, this is also this kind of projection yeah? onto others. Yeah? Okay. I think for today is enough. Yeah? Questions? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. <laughs> what? How to get out? Um, oh, you, you also one of mine? It's okay. It's okay. What? It's okay. It's okay? <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Um, gain and uh, reality is different. Yeah. But now, uh, today, uh, technology is very uh, adva advancing, adva uh, adva uh, advanced mm -hmm. technology, like yeah. virtual reality. Yeah. So, player uh, attack enemy or kill enemy mm -hmm. to get a point. Mm -hmm. But, uh, like a virtual reality, so Graphi gra graf graphical and sound mm -hmm. yeah. situation is very similar, yeah. close to real world. Mm -hmm. So, uh, inside mind is like uh, almost same, yeah. and real and virtual. Yeah. Like uh, anger, hatred yeah. 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 is very s almost yeah. same. Yeah. So, uh, in karma, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like a uh, kill enemy, mm -hmm. uh, real, real world is uh, kill somebody. Mm. Is it same effect? No. No? No. But what happens, yeah, I mean, if you do play these games, yeah, and the more you play, the more you get angry, the more, the more you shoot down other people, the more likely are you to do the same thing in reality, and then it creates karma. So it is karma, what you do. But this is mind karma. Yeah? You have mind karma, yeah? I mean, if you still keep your mouth shut, yeah, then it's still mind karma that constantly comes back. Somebody wants to kill you, somebody wants to kill you, somebody wants to kill you. Yeah? That's only mind karma. Yeah? If it comes out of the mouth, it comes back as words. Yeah? I'm going to kill you. And if it comes out as action, then you actually stab somebody, then it also comes back as action. So as long as you do it in your mind, it comes back as karma of the mind. Yeah? But be aware that it leads a lot of people, you know, to do the same thing in reality. Yeah? Because they think it's the same thing. Yeah? Because they can't, the more they do it, they can't decide what is reality and what is game. Yeah? <clears throat> First is mind. Yeah. Next speech and then it's action. action. Yeah. So mind is very important. So of course it is important. But it is the 
it is the easiest to get rid of. Yeah? Because the moment a thought comes, you can say, the moment you train yourself, Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. You can replace that thought. Yeah? But if a word comes back to you, the reaction in your heart you can't change. Yeah? See? You, you would have to accept it, you know, of course you can change the, the, uh, the reaction towards it and say, okay, yeah, now it's raining, yeah, it's raining acid, yeah, so what, yeah, let's go through it. Yeah? But it's still much harder than mind come up. Yes, mind is the first thing, yeah. If I don't think about killing somebody, I will never do it. If I don't think about robbing somebody, I won't do it. Yeah. And if I, if I have never trained to rob, you know, I w or trained to steal, you know, I won't even do it if there is an opportunity. Because I never thought about it. Yeah. But if I constantly think about it, oh, I like this, you know, and then I see it, you know, I just grab hold of it, yeah. <coughs> then this kind of mind karma creates the opportunity to take something. So that's why it's so important to look after our mind, yeah? to replace all these thoughts, you know, with Buddha. Buddha yeah? Or when there are thoughts of anger, replace them with thoughts of love and kindness. Yeah? May this person be happy, instead of getting angry with him. Yeah? Very difficult. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Especially if we are proud, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because what happens if you are in fast um, injustice? What in? In, uh, in fast of um, injustice. Um, injustice. 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 Yeah. There is no injustice. That, that, there is no injustice. It looks to us. I, I, I sometimes say, there's nothing unfairer than the unjust karma. Yeah? But actually, there is not. It is just the law. But we, because we can't step back, we don't see it. Yeah? So we think it is unjust. Yeah? When would we look in our heart, then we would see it's unjust. Yeah? Because we did that onto others. Yeah? But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't help people, you know, who are treated unjustly. Yeah? Go, no. But now it's all karma. Yeah? Don't kill somebody for it. Yeah? Don't do harmful things to them. Yeah? Just voice it out, you know. Voice it out and say, I mean, this is, this is not good. Yeah? What you're doing is unjust, yeah, towards the other person. Yeah? Or help this person, you know, in other ways. But you don't, don't get angry at these people. Yeah? When you look, when you take a wide step back, yeah, I mean, you will see that exactly the people who are treated unjustly, yeah, have treated other people unjustly before, in one of their previous lives. Yeah? People who are thrown into prison without having any guilt, yeah, are people who have thrown other people into prison and we know from the Middle Ages, I mean, a lot of people, I just didn't like somebody, so he didn't do anything to me, but I didn't like him or I wanted his land, you know, so I kicked him into prison, yeah, because I had the authority or power, yeah, <clears throat> or burned them alive, yeah, as witches. Yeah? I just said, no, she's a witch, she's a witch, yeah, and then I went to, uh, uh, I, I went to, 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 to some, uh, what is it, uh, Kaplan or how, how they are Catholics, yeah, and uh, she's a witch, she, 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 she brews, you know, in the dark, she brews, you know, so, something, you know, and then they went after her and burned her, you know, and they were, got rid of her and got her house, yeah, <laughs> maybe shared it with the church, you know. And then the same thing happens to us in this life, oh, somebody takes my house away, yeah, or burns me alive. Or I'm burned within a car, you know, somebody accidentally hit my car, you know, and I burned alive in the car, yeah. So, 
There is no. That's why I say it's unfair, but you know, it is just. It's really just when you look from a very, very broad perspective. Yeah? Whatever we do unto others will come back to us. Yeah? But it's good to help people. Yeah? You feel they're treated unjustly? Help them. Yeah? You feel that they are starving? Help them. Feed them. Yeah? But feed the people around you, not only the people you know who are millions of miles away. Yeah? <laughs> That's what we normally do, yeah? We don't help the people around us because we think they can help themselves, yeah? We only help people, you know, oh, in Africa or in, in, in Southeast Asia or in Brazil, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but the one that is sitting in right in front of our house now, why not? Yeah? Because we think he can help himself, yeah? It's not too bad here. Hmm? No. Help the people and you will be helped, yeah? <clears throat> If you go, yeah, if you understand, misunderstand karma, yeah, and say, oh, that's their karma that they are in this situation, you know, and you walk by, then in the next life, <laughs> you sit there and the people walk by. <laughs> yeah? That's also karma. Yeah? So, whatever you want others, people to do for you, that's what you do for others. Yeah? Very easy, very simple, yet so difficult to do. Huh? Because we don't like. We always, you know, we are very selfish, aren't we? We always want for us things. Especially when it comes to partner. It should be around for us, for us, for us. It shouldn't be there for others. <laughs> okay? Understood? Okay, see you on Sunday. Monday is a big day, so I warn you, and I'm probably on Saturday, lots of people are coming in and there will be probably chanting outside in the evening and there will be food stands building up. Yeah? There you can actually see the generosity of the Thais. I mean, on Monday it's really a big day and there will be probably hundreds of food stands that serve free food. So, on these days, we don't eat also in the inner sala, we eat outside in the sala and you just help yourself, yeah? I mean, you just go from one stand, you know, and to the other and see, yeah? And feel the generosity. Because this you don't, never ever see in Europe yeah? or in any other country. Yeah? Yeah.